Hello, I am Uli Seven Covenant, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to add numbers to get their totals, how to calculate averages, and also how to apply the count function in Excel. We have some fun content to cover, so let's get started. We have this set of staff information. We have our staff names. We have the salary the staff collect. Right, the salaries that we've paid and we also have the age of this staff right so now what we want to calculate now is we want to get the total salaries that we've paid we also want to get the average salary that we've paid we want to get the count of salary as well that we've paid and we want to now get the staff that field age information how many staff field age information so how do we go about this to get our total salary, we're going to be using the function called sum. The sum function. So I'm going to do is equal to sum. Now, what does the sum function do? The sum function has all the numbers in a range of cell. Now, the range of cell is going to be our salary column. Right, that's going to be our salary column. So I'm going to click on the first salary. Right, I could do either country shift down to get down to the very last, or I could just drag down to the last salary. I'll close my brackets and then I'll hit enter. So now I can see that the total salary that we've paid is 33 million. 33 million salary paid. 33 million salary paid. Now to get our average salary, we would also be using the function called average. So I'll come and do is equal to average. Now average returns the average arithmetic mean, right? Of whatever arguments that we supply, which can be numbers, names, arrays, or even references that contain numbers. Right. So when I open the brackets, uh, average is also asking for the same argument, just like our sum. So it's asking for number one, number two, right? So I will click on the first salary. And I'll do the same thing. I can use my control shift down key or I can just drag down. I'll close my brackets and I'll hit enter. So the average salary paid is 2 million plus, right? 2 million 77,000. That is the average salary paid. Now, the count of salary. How do we get the count of salary? So the reason we're getting the count of salary is to know the number of staff that we actually paid salary for the month or for the year right depending on the context we are looking at it from so i'm going to do is equal to count now let's see what does the count function also do the count function count the number of cells in a range that contains what numbers so when you want to apply the count function it's only really applicable to cells that contains numbers so when i do is equal to count um i click on the first salary once again drag down to the last salary I close my brackets and I hit enter now the count of salary paid is what 16 so what it does is it it ignores the empty cells that we have because there is no figure there right so we can only get we can only apply the count function to cells that contains numbers right if your cells contain test as well it's not going to count it only has to contain numbers as we'll see in the next example so now we want to calculate of the count of each age. So this tab will ask them to supply their age, right? To fill their age as well. So we want to count the age. Those that have given us age. So what I do is I go to count. Right? I open my bracket. I click on the first age. Control shift down arrow key to highlight everything. And then I close my bracket and I hit enter. Right? So I can see that the staff that fit each information is what? Just 17. Just 17. But however, if you look at our cells, you see that each cell actually has, you know, figures in them. But then, we have this as test. This is 37, written as test. This is 40, written as test. This is 24, written as test. So the count function would not, do not consider cells that contain test. Only cells that contain numbers, right? And that is why we can say that we have just 70 here. So when I come to 37 now, and I make it a, a, a number, right i make this a number as well and i also make this a number as well you see that the number 
of the staff that actually feed age information does what it also increases as well so it's really important to know when to apply the count function the sum function and also the average function all right thank you so much for listening stay tuned for more videos